Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about Bad Boy Beeman and why exactly he's not good for the COD community. In the background, I'm going to have gameplay of the last time that we had stimulus. I dropped, I think, 22 kills with the Groza. So I'm just going to play that in the background for you guys while I'm kind of just venting about Bad Boy Beeman. So for those of you who don't know who Bad Boy Beeman is, he is a YouTuber who goes around exposing hackers who are normally streamers or uh, I guess you could say TikTokers, YouTubers, whatever, any sort of Call of Duty content creator, he goes around exposing them, he says. Problem is that Bad Boy Beeman is kind of like, for any of you who have watched anime at all and have seen One Piece, he's basically the Usopp of the Call of Duty community. And for any of you who haven't seen One Piece, basically he's the boy who cried wolf. And I guess the difference here is, is that people actually believe him. His fan base is unbelievably large, and they actually believe this stuff that he's saying. But in reality, majority of the time, he's making up accusations. And he's just either that he's either making up accusations or he's just reporting on things that other people have found within the community. Like, for instance, he exposed uh, the two, the streamer couple that was streaming on Twitch and they were both actually hacking. Um, but in reality, this was I believe her name is Alex Zedra is the one who actually exposed them for cheating and the one who called them out for cheating. And all he did was kind of uh, just report on it. You know, streamer couple confirmed cheating. The difference between reporting cheaters and making claims and, and accusations about people who he thinks cheating are vastly different. So reporting news about someone who's been cheating or someone who's been accused of cheating or caught cheating is perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. The problem is, is when you start accusing people that aren't actually cheating just to use their name for the YouTube algorithm. A perfect example for this would be Z Laner. Z Laner was accused by Bad Boy Beeman for cheating in three separate videos. After the third video, this prompted Z Laner to make a, I believe it's almost like a two, three hour response to Bad Boy Beeman's claims. Z Laner goes as far as to calling out Bad Boy Beeman for manipulating clips, which he shows proof of how Z how bad boy Beeman was manipulating clips to make it look like uh, he was cheating or that he was like glitching or skipping around the map and, and, and aimbotting and things like all, all of that. So you can just watch the video. I'll have it linked down in the description below. But recently Beeman made a TikTok uh, accusing FaZe Swag of cheating. Now his only evidence was a light on Swag's controller, which he thought was a strike pack. And for any of you who don't know, Apparently, strike packs can be used as a form of cheating to help give you uh, stronger aim assist, aim bot, um, recoil control, all that, all that jazz. And I know this is going to sound like kind of fanboyish, but I'm not, I'm really not the largest swag fan. But why would he risk his entire career over a $15, $20 strike pack? If I came out and said how he makes six figures with Scuff and how his whole life he's always wanted. Uh, to be a Call of Duty pro. For me, given the circumstances of the type of history that Swag has and the player that he, that he is, he's not even like an elite top tier, top one, two, three, even top five Warzone player. How are you going to accuse this guy of cheating? But Swag made a response and he showed how the light on his controller is simply where paddles are missing uh, from his scuff because he has a four paddle scuff. And this prompted Beeman to make a response, obviously, to Swag's response. And in his own, in Beeman's own response, he still kind of insinuates that Swag still could be cheating and that maybe that Swag was lying about the strike pack. He says how the light distance looks different from this picture in this picture. It's honestly just a terrible response. And it doesn't stop at Swag and Z Laner. Uh, he's accused raided for using wall hacks he's accused uh huskers he's accused aiden he's accused basically any sort of relevant cod pro that you can think of he's tried to go after them for cheating and i find this very problematic because you're coming after these people's careers on things that you cannot even verify on top of that you're not even at the skill level to be able to confirm someone cheating unless it's like blatant wall hacks, snapping, things like that, that everyone knows is cheating. But you have this community of pro players and we don't even have other pro players saying that these players are cheating. So how is it that apparently you know more as being a, a mediocre player than these pro players who have been playing Call of Duty for almost their whole life? And I find what's most dangerous about this entire situation 
really is his fan base. His fan base has been just riding him the entire way. You know, uh, Beeman's claims are really good for the community. He's asking the questions that no one else will. And you do great work for the community. I'm glad you're catching all these huge streamers. In the in the cheating accusation video alone for Swag, there were so many people saying, you know, I'm not surprised. I, I thought you already knew that he used this. Just every everyone literally believing him. It went as far to even Nick Merckx believing him for a second. Nick Merckx said, he got me. He, he honestly got me. I thought you were using it for a second. He's created this influence on the Call of Duty community. So where people who, in my opinion, aren't as good of players, or maybe they play on console and they don't understand FOV and effective uh, ADS, then I think that he tailors to that audience the most the people who don't necessarily understand uh what it's like to play at a higher level no i'm not going to sit here and say that i understand what it's like to be nick Merckx, aiden swag huskers any of those pro players but i do think that i'm good enough to understand when someone is and is not cheating and from what i've seen from aiden and everyone else that he's accused from the top tier pro level None of them have been cheating. And I guess the difference is that I'm able to recognize that these players are not cheating and his audience cannot. They're all so quick to put these people on the guillotine and want to burn them at the stake for something that this guy is fabricating. And I think this is dangerous because you're ruining these guys' careers. You're putting their name on the line. You're, you're slandering them. And Swag went as far as saying that he's getting, he's going to try to talk to his agent and get lawyers involved to try to get these videos removed because it's slander. I even made a TikTok a month or two ago talking about how players are accusing pros of using, uh, you know, net dumas, VPNs. Um, I guess back in the day, these used lag switches and all these other softwares to get uh, easier lobbies. Now, the reason why I said this is because SBMM Warzone was when it was working. Uh, people would use this as a means to kind of degrade a player, say that, you know, just because you only get in this lobby because it's bronze or silver. All these things were never even said until SBMM Warzone came out. And it's the same thing here. People want to accuse players of cheating when they have literally no proof that any of them are cheating. And most of these accusations are stretched or fabricated or misleading. And honestly, I think Bad Boy Beeman could have a really good channel. He could be uh, calling out cheaters that are have been caught cheating, or he could be shedding light on real cheaters and not using the algorithm for people's names like Nick Merckx, uh, Swag, Aiden, Huskers, Rated, all of those pro players who show up frequently in the YouTube algorithm. And honestly, I think he could take notes from the Fortnite guy. When I played Fortnite, he would go into their chat or he would DM them. And honestly, he would try to get their side of the story. The problem is, that bad boy beeman all he does is take the matters into his own hands he doesn't ever try to see both sides of the story he all he wants to do is spark a conversation and say that um you know this this looks fishy this looks suspicious all these different things and it's and it's putting it like too high up into interpretation he needs to make it known to his audience that a lot of times he does not know what he's talking about and that he also makes these videos without getting the second the, the other half of the story he never makes that known not once and then people are going to flood to his channel because he sees people you know see someone doing something like aiden doing something where it's like holy cow this is crazy and if they search aiden on youtube his name will his video with aiden will be on that list because of the way the youtube algorithm works and again, his channel could be so good. He could honestly just be like, you know, he could be like the Fortnite guys channel. He could be like eSport talks. He could do all those different things for specifically the Call of Duty community. But he's choosing not to. And he's choosing to be malicious towards other players saying that they're doing this. Trying to honestly, it, it really does come down to him trying to ruin their careers. Maybe he's not doing it intentionally, but every time he makes a video, he made a he made a video on Z Laner multiple times, and which prompted Z Laner to have to make a three hour response. That just seems ridiculous to me. More than anything, what I want you to take away from this is that we need to stop trying to accuse players of just cheating or walling or hacking or all these other things if you have no proof innocent until proven guilty the burden of proof relies on you 
So if you're going to claim that these players are cheating and all these other things, don't pull up suspicious clips as to say, oh, this looks suspicious that you're able to do this because that was his response. He said that they have these clips too often, but they play eight, 12 hours a day. They're going to get clips like these. What you don't see is how they get shit on for those eight to, to 12 hours. You, you don't see that. You don't see them lose the gulag. You don't see them die off spawn. You don't see them re over and over and over again. Those are the things you don't see. And I think that that is a big problem with kind of YouTube is that people don't see what happens behind the scenes. And I think if they want to know what happens behind the scenes, they should get invested and try to gather their own opinion if a player truly is cheating or hacking. But that's it for me. If you guys like the video, I want you guys to hit that like button. If you honestly, if you disagree with me, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I really just want to know everyone's opinion on this. Comment down below what you think about Bad Boy Beeman. If you think he's good for the community, let me know. If you don't agree with any of the things that he's doing, also let me know that as well. And if you want to come back for more content like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you know every time I upload one of these videos. Honestly, I just can't wait for the new update. So I will continue to drop videos until then. And I will see you guys in the next one.